guys look at this Abaddon house here bicycles the whole building is a a mess it's falling apart I don't know if you can see over there we can even see the inside that's crazy right mailbox and then if I go back a little bit look at what is right next a brand new house brand new house next to abandoned house I guess that symbolizes Japan quite well the old and the new Kotokuji Sanadamaru is a corner of paradise in the heart of Osaka city. The closest station is Tamatsukuri on the JR line. From there, there is a 10 minutes stroll to the station, but it's worth it. Kotokuji Sanadamaru isn't big, but it's full of little charming things like the koi fish pond, and it's a real haven of peace. Yo, check out this one, Noren. Whoa, I dig it. Very cool. Yo, peeps. So I tried to take the photo that I wanted with these. F where is my finger? With these flowers in the foreground, the building and that thing. I don't know how it's called in the background. And somebody, a subject right in here. I don't know if I got it, but I waited a long time and I got a few shots, so hopefully one of them will be good. Let me share a point of view here as a street photographer. I think when the legs are spread, when taking a picture of a walking subject, gives a better looking image and an overall more dynamic picture, in my opinion. Tell me in the comment what you think. I like the smiley over there and I'm waiting for someone to come from that street from the left to the right. 
that building here is interesting. The roof, the reflection of the sun on the roof, the two coins mark and the, the katagana, hiragana, kanji, whatever, Japanese. Oh, and a subject I'm missing right now. I'm gonna try to take a picture. I don't know what angle. Maybe just a little bit to the side. I don't know. Let's try. Heading back home, I came across an exhibition here, which I will show you in a minute. Interesting young artists. And then this street here, there is another painting from Montreal. The um, gallery owner told me. She used to live in, in that house over there, she told me. And then this street is also interesting. It leads to a like old fashioned place with the Japanese flag, tanuki, stone lantern, and I really like that sign. I find it very cool. And she told me they also have a old pump, water pump. Ooh, I didn't see the fish. Yeah, old fashioned house. Interesting. Let's see if I can show you the the gallery inside. I think I can. We can see the back. Let's see. Okay, so I got everybody's approval. Let me show you. <laughs> so, the young guy with the white t-shirt is the artist here, making these. And he made a character. So he made two characters. This one is like the bad one, and this one is the good one. I think it's Mr. Honest and uh, Mr. I think it's Mad. I forgot the name. I'm going to put the Instagram account so you can follow if you want to. She even made stickers. And then over there we have another artist. I find the painting very colorful. <laughs> This is the same artist here, in this corner, but he has a different style of hands. I'm not a specialist at all, but I kind of like this one. It's colorful. And this is the, the young guy with the cap here in the gray sweater. And then we have finally a third artist. Actually a fourth one, but uh, I think he's not here. And that's what he does. A little bit like manga style. Oops. I don't like these two. Old school. And I think he also made his own character, like this G-Dog character. And right here. I also like this one. T-shirts. Cool, no? 